Hey guys, Tim here with the Jacks of All Trades and the furnace guy did not run the thermostat wire. So I'm gonna show you how to use some of these cool tools to be able to fish a thermostat wire in easier than you ever seen. Come on over here and let's check it out. Okay, so now we have to get a thermostat wire fished into here. Fishing just means we're gonna run it without tearing up all the drywall. So we have a couple of tools we're gonna use. The first one is this oscillating saw. This is a box cutter tool that'll give you a perfectly square box designed for running a mud ring or any other box. Um, before we get going too far, remember to always check what's on top of the wall before we get going once we're up in the attic. I've already gone up there and checked everything, so we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. There's no wires or plumbing or any emergency is gonna happen from us drilling up and fishing this thermostat wire in. So first, let's get this bad boy right here running and I'll show you what to do. So you're gonna run a thermostat wire at 54 inches. Now we're gonna move on to our next set of tools because we're gonna drill a hole up through here without damaging the drywall. So I'm gonna grab a couple things and I'll show you what's going on. First thing we're gonna use is this bad boy. It is a long fish tip to go on the end of our drill. Now these things are fantastic. So you can go up here and hit the top of your wall. But as you can already see, part of the problem is it's gonna hit that back wall. I don't know how many times I've pushed one of these through the other wall instead of up through the top plate. So Racketeer has come up with these bad boys. They're called bumper balls. And they do just like they show. They keep your ball from shitting. So I haven't tried one of these out. They sent them to me and I wanna give it a shot and see how they work. Okay, so Racketeers has come up with this little ball here to be able to slide down your drill bit. Oh, hey, flashlight's on. To be able to start down your drill bit. So this will hit the drywall when you're bending and keep this going straight in theory. So we're gonna grab our drill bit. Okay, we're through. This long bit did scuff the wall a little bit, but this hasn't been painted yet, so we're okay. So that worked pretty slick. It kept me from going through the back side of the wall, put a hole clean through. So now we're ready to go ahead and fish our wire down. That worked out really, really well. I think Racketeers nailed it on that one. All right, let's go ahead and check out one more set of tools they have for us. And it's these. I, you guys watch my videos, you will know that I use these all the time. Although this is a feature I didn't know they did until just recently. It's a racketeer's table. Nobody cares about that. What I care about. Is there wire spinners, which is what I care about. So I'm gonna get this in here so we can fish the wire down and fish it over. this wire down. All right, next we gotta grab our handy dandy knife and get this thing opened up. I mean, you gotta have a good solid knife for knocking this stuff out. Here. Don't let it roll on you now. Get the plastic off this. All right. Put this bad boy away. All right, we're ready to roll it looks like. Want to make sure we always have our wire pulling cords over the top where we're going in case we're pulling up or down. And uh, these wire spinners, I can do tons of them. That's why I love them because I can use as long of a bar as I want. It's just a cut off chunk of ground rod, use concrete stakes or whatever. And now I can pull this wire and uh, we'll fish this down from the hole, make it easy to grab. One, two, three, and done. That's how, that's how Racketeers is making this work better for us. If you like any of these tools, they did sponsor this video, but these are all tools. If you look before I was ever sponsored, I have always used these tools. Specifically this, first time I ever used the yellow ball thing, but I've been using the forfeit fish hook and I've been using the box cutting tool for many, many years because these are absolutely fantastic tools. Um, so I've been doing that. If you do like this stuff, you can go ahead and go to racketeers.com, link in the description, enter Jax 10 Save yourself some money, get some really cool tools. They have hundreds of neat things. These are just the ones I wanted to play with for this video.
Thanks for following all the way to the end of the video. Look forward to seeing you next time.